Hello, my name is Lynetta Jardain, and I am the Assistant Executive Director for the Oshiki Majitada program. And I've been employed with employment and employment and training services for Bye. for a number of years. We are an employment and training organization. We provide a range of um, services, including um, educational services, employment, uh, to help our clients to accomplish their goals. We assist them with um, helping them to overcome their barriers. We have um, supportive services that we offer. Uh, for example, our clients may need work clothing. We could do work clothing, assist them with driver's license, help them obtain their GED. We also have work contracts available where eligible clients could be placed at a work site for up to six months and possibly work themselves into a, a permanent position with that organization. We have childcare available through the CCDF, which is the Child Care Development Fund, or the CCAP, CCAP program. We can also assist with uh, transportation barriers by providing our clients with rides to a work site or rides to Oshiki Majitaro to work on their GED. Or we can give them a bus card. We can do car repair. And as I had mentioned earlier, we can pay reinstatement fees, driver's license, help you with your permit. Just a, um, a wide range of uh, support services that we have available depending on the client needs. We have um, case managers that are very good to work with to help you out with accomplishing your, your needs. Thank you. Hi, my name is Wendy Johnson and I am currently the lead eligibility specialist for our Red Lake Nation TANF program. Um, we have a staff of nine members um, and case aides and office support as well. What we do here is we offer cash and food assistance to families who are in need of public assistance benefits. We work Monday through Friday um, from 8 to 4.30. Uh, we see clients um, every day, except for Fridays are our paper days, um, but we do accommodate clients as needed. Um, what we do is we interview clients. We get them on assistance as soon as we possibly can. Um, some days it may take up to 30 days to process their applications. We do, however, try and get those applications processed sooner than that. We currently have a caseload of about 600 cases, um, which are divided up between the nine of us. I supervise the other eight staff members. I also um, do paperwork for the county as well as needed. We do um, take applications for Beltrami County and we scan and email those to the Beltrami County office every day. But we are an ongoing program. We opened September of 2015 and we are currently um, taking new applications as well as maintaining caseloads of about 70 per person. Um, we also try and assist others with medical assistance. We do hope to be opening a branch office in Bemidji within the next year or two. Um, we also try and assist anyone who comes through the office with any programs that they may be eligible for, whether it be 477 or employment services, because that's um, part of our job as being public um, service workers. Bonjour, Nagabon Indigenous Cuz, McGeezy Dotum, otherwise known as my tax ID number is Darwin Sumner, and I am the coordinator of Ganawan and Diwag, uh, taking care of each other, uh, cultural program at Ushkimaj and we share cultural and traditional values to empower families with knowledge they can carry on into the future that um, 
that the families can um, teach their, their young ones also. And how they get into the program, uh, I have two helpers. So Ghanaman Dior program has a staff of four people. Uh, myself, the coordinator, uh, Anna Sherwood's my assistant, Kelly Eisman's a case manager, and Tracy Kingbird's case manager. And Brian Smith is our language and choreographer for the program. If you want uh, information or you want to join the program, uh, call Kelly and, and uh, Tracy at Oshki Majitara, 679-3350. Ghana Wind program is also on Oshki Majitara website, Facebook, and YouTube. They can be viewed on YouTube. Ghana Wind uh, shares all of the seasonal activities we do, uh, some of the stuff we do like ricing, berry picking, uh, trapping, fishing, some hunting, jingle dress, grass dance, uh, we do the language, um, drum making, spearing, sugar bush. So a lot of seasonal activities. Uh, uh, we, we do a wide variety of activities. So we try to space them out every two weeks. So I, I will make good. Hi, I'm Ruby Gurno, Child Care Director for Oshki Majitata Red Lake Nation Child Care. We run the CCDF program, which is Child Care Development Fund, and the CCAP program, which is the Child Care Assistance Program run by Beltrami County. Um, we have, currently we have three licensed centers in, on the Red Lake Nation, and we have uh, probably about 45 child care providers, and we provide child care for around 85 to 100 families every month. We've been here since, gosh, since the building was built, 15 years? Yeah. Okay, the uh, number for the Oshki Majitara Child Care Center is 218-679-3350, and you can talk to anybody in child care. We also run the child care program at the Red Lake Nation College, and you can call here for information for that as well. Thank you. My name is Heather Stolde. I got my job through um, the contract jobs through ES. And uh, well, I started out on a three month contract through employment service. And they extended me another three months because I got two GED tests done through here. And they extended me another three months. So I got six months working. But with my fifth month working before my three months was up, they hired me full time. And within my five months working as a contract worker, I got three tests done. Uh, I accomplished getting my driver's license and pretty much just worked my way up now. I'm a driver, cook, backup for office manager, and I guess it's going pretty good. Certified for CPR through here. Um, did the NCRC testing through here. I guess it's going good though. Helping with what goes on in here, like burial assistance and getting paperwork for, for that needs to be uh, that's done here up to the travel council, driving to go get clients to get them here, and covering for everything in here. My name is Kelly Eisman, I'm one of the lead case managers for employment services. Renee Clark is the main lead case manager, Lisa Loud is the second. Um, other case managers we have are Sherry Dudley, Adrian Johnson, Devin Eagletail, Whitney Spears, Tracy Kingbird. The Needy Families Plan was approved on January 1st, 2016. TANF assistance is temporary. TANF is a work program. It is the client's responsibility to find work and keep work. You will accept responsibility for yourself and your children. You will follow program rules. Client will follow program rules and develop a career development plan. Keep appointments, participate in the work activity, complete forms, and make sure your children are in school. We are here to help you break down barriers which 
whether it be child care, housing, transportation, education, or any other you may have. Program mission statement, Ushkamajitara is committed to educating families to discover their strengths as individuals. The primary goals of Red Lake Nation TANF program will be based on the four goals purposes of TANF. Provides assistance in the form of monthly cash and or non-cash benefits to all eligible applicants that reside within the Red Lake Nation borders. To end dependence of needy parents by developing and promoting programs and services such as assistance and activities that will support job preparation, work opportunities, personal growth, mental and physical wellness, stable and healthy marriages, prevents and reduces out of wedlock pregnancies by providing activities that promote positive peer influence and offer relevant information to Native American youth regarding teen pregnancy, health choices, and personal responsibility, encourages the formation and maintenance of two-parent families by providing opportunities to assist in keeping families together. Education is important. A child under the age of 8, 19 or minor head of household will must be enrolled in attending school full-time or participating in the equivalent level of vocational apprentice technical training. Failure of parents to send children to school or the failure of children to attend school contrary to applicable law will result and referral to appropriate programs as mandated by law. Clients are required to have developed a career development plan. If they don't have their GED, they're required to enroll in a GED program. If they don't have their license, career development class is available. We also offer financial skills class, NCRC certificate, national career readiness certificate, resumes, interview skills, work ethic. We also offer supportive services. Oshkamaj Daughter offers supportive services to our clients while they are in compliance with program requirements. Um, I'm Lena Goose. I'm a receptionist in the 477 office. Um, first I was a client. I was doing the required classes and I just kept bothering them about a job, and they finally offered me one after a while. I got a three-month contract. I'm on my second second month now. I mainly did the cultural program, then the G, the GED program, which I'm still working on. Did the NCRC testing, the like the financial skills class, just whatever class they offered, I took it. And just kept coming every day and then asked for a job and I finally accept got one <laughs> and I'm, ex I'm glad I finally got a job I like it hi I'm Al Bellavo I'm uh, the welding instructor at Oshki Majatata Institute of Technology and uh, here we train our clients how to weld just the basics and the fundamentals of welding arc welding oxyacetylene welding and uh, MIG or wire welding along with heliarc TIG welding for aluminum and stainless steel. Uh, we've uh, got room, actually we have 15 machines that we can be running at one time. Normally we have a student load of about 10 students. And so we have five students working on one particular set of machines, be it uh, arc welders or oxyacetylene, and then the other students working on other machines. And so then we have a little bit of room you know, for uh, if people want to switch off and they get a little, a little tired of one particular operation, then they can move on to others. We're, uh, we're utilizing the Nesser curriculum in order to train our students, which is a nationally recognized curriculum for industry and construction. And so we go through our books, we do testing there, and then we also do the, the Nestor, Nestor uh, performance testing for all of our welds. And the students, before they can graduate after a six-week course, they all have to test through both in, uh, in uh, book form and then also down on the floor of the shop here in welding form. And then we also get a lot of 
side projects that come in, usually a lot of people's exhaust systems. Uh, skidders, uh, we've had snow plows in, and uh, other little things, just like I put together a drag for one of our directors this morning so he can drag his driveway. Getting bumpy, his coffee's getting spilled. So that's, that's what we do around here. We're just training people the basic fundamentals of metallurgy and welding. And, uh, and we're having a great time doing it. We're also doing some art projects. Uh, for our heating module, we have uh, our students are making roses out of steel. Uh, the artistic uh, part of our wire welding module, we're having students build little log cabins, welding weld on top of weld on top of weld. And I, I haven't decided what the artistic uh, aspect of arc welding is going to be, but we'll find something interesting to do. That's what I have, and it's, it's all made possible by, uh, by uh, a grant from the Department, Minnesota Department of Labor, uh, our cheerleader and director, Mr. Jerry Loud, uh, Eugene Standing Cloud, our vocational director, and uh, Nate Rosebear, who is our liaison between TARO, uh, tribal, um, tribal Employment Rights, and uh, in our welding shop here, who also works with her students if they have any concerns with, uh, with their transportation or anything else. Nate will take care of them and get things figured out. So that's what we're doing here. We're having a good time. We're uh, welding iron, and we're proud of it. Thank you. <laughs>